What is up you guys? It's Tanita Bay and I'm back again with another video. So this time I'm doing a rice water update. I believe this is like number four. It has been like four or five months since the last one that I uploaded and it is now the end of September. And I was looking back at a couple of the videos today and my hair has come a very long way. So I thought I'd update you. Like I said in the video before, like I'm kind of doing this for myself and it really is helpful. But I see that a lot of people enjoy this. So I mean, yeah, I'm gonna do this for both of us. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. I'm about to put a wig on for like a couple, well, probably until the end of the year until I hit yet another trim. And so, I'm about to braid this down to about like eight braids. And I deep conditioned with heat. And I used, I put in like a moisturizing conditioner overnight. And then I made some rice water today. And I put it in and then I used heat. Then I rinsed it out and then I put in some more rice water and leave in in the shower. And then it's been about, um, how long has it been? It's been about two hours since I got out of the shower. And I had on like my microfiber towel. But yeah, honestly, let me just update y'all on what these last five months have entailed. So I, ever since the last video, I have moved to a whole state, a different region and a lot of that has happened. I got engaged and then what else happened? I have been wearing a lot of wigs. And so, my hair has had the opportunity to grow. But I will admit, I was not as diligent with rice water. I have used it at least once a month, that's for sure. But as far as every time I washed it, no. I probably didn't wash it for like four washes before this time. So yeah. And I got some, here's the rice water right here. I already put it in with some leave-in. It's very milky. I cooked it. I did like the cooking version. So it's not really fermented. And I also have a shea butter mix right here. There you go. But yeah. I'm about to just braid it. I kind of like watching the braiding videos too. It's kind of like ASMR for me. Oh, this one is sharp. I should have got a different one. I really don't care about my parts that much because when they're small enough, it'd be on flat flat anyway. So, I mean, it does help with like neatness. I like them small because the smaller you make them, the longer they last, they don't get puffy as fast. But yeah, you can see, this is like my long side. Like this side of my hair is always longer than this. Like I got a trim like right before I left, which was like about three months ago. I guess that's kind of a long time. That's a pretty long time. But this side is like way longer <laughs> than this side. I will show you, but the other side like styles like right here. It's like, I mean, it's, I guess it's not way longer, but it's noticeably longer to me. So, I yeah, got some shea butter. So my next video will probably be me installing a wig because a lot of people don't know how to install a wig on themselves. And instead of this like, being in a teach them, I'm gonna just tell them to go watch the video. <laughs> so it'll be very detailed and very long. Very detailed. And very long. I'm gonna just show y'all. Like, I might speed some stuff up, but I'm gonna just show y'all. Maybe I won't speed it up so y'all can, like, do it with me. Like, if it's like an actual, like, follow along. Maybe that's what I'll do. 
It'll be really long. <laughs> it takes me about, if I'm fast, maybe like 30 minutes to do my hair. Like, it really depends on how much time I give myself. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.